Is it really possible to read someone's mind? And can I actually know what you will do? Well, time is ticking, so let's find out. There was a psychologist called Mr. Zenner who used to produce what we call ESP cards. And ESP stands for extrasensory perception. And these cards mainly had five shapes. They were a cross, square, wavy lines, circle, and a star. And what Mr. Zenner would do, he would try to see if someone was psychic or had some sort of a, a power of psychic ability. And, and some people do and some people don't. So therefore, the test was to see if you were 100% psychic or not. So what I have here are the five cards. I'm just going to ask a volunteer, could, could you just have a look at these and yep. shuffle them up yep. and just mix them up in your hand. And once you're happy, just make them into a poker hand like this and we're going to begin the trick. So therefore, fan them out. Yep. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place one of these cards on the table and now that's me done. You have to select one of those and place next to that one, okay? Oh. So take out any one you like the look of and then place it down over here for me. Perfect. I always ask, do you want to stick or change? Um, stick. Okay, and you're happy with that choice, yeah? Perfect? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so therefore, we, we, we are psychic, good, are we? All right, good. So let's just take that one back and we're going to do it again and see, see if it works. So shuffle them up. Now you might want to trick me and go for the same card or you might want to change your mind. Right. So what you think he would do, don't, don't tell me, but I want you to try to imagine the next card. Okay, right. Mm, you might be that one in ten that <laughs> wants to stick. Okay, so take out a shape, any shape you like, and then place it down on the table. Physically look at the cards, look at the cards you're looking at, it's very important. The last one you did, and this one you, you will have to. So take out one of them and place it down next. Okay, so you've done that? Yeah. <laughs> so far, so good, right? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Now I'm going to take this a step further. Um, if you could hand the cards to someone else, let's say, uh, could you do that now? And, you, and you, you're going to spread through, spread through the cards. So you're a hundred percent psychic. Congratulations! Oh. Yes. <laughs> so what I'm going to do with you is I want to do the same thing. I'm going to place one of the the cards onto the table, and you do exactly the same for me whenever you want. Have you seen what card you're placing down? Yeah. Okay, and place it down. Now, do you want to stick or change? Stick. I just can't believe we're getting this right. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So there we go. Another psychological test would be someone would draw a picture on a wall. And we have to be quick. So can you draw a picture in your mind first? Imagine you're drawing a picture, uh, an object at random, like an, uh, an aeroplane is quite a big object, a Rubik cube, uh, a banana, a, a tree, a, a light bulb, a pen, something. Um, and have you thought about it? Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to draw something on this. And I don't want you to see. So just tell me a little, little bit about yourself and we'll try and think. Um, I'm 19. Okay. Um, student nurse. I live in Enfield. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> oh, um, what, okay, so, so that, that might tell me that, because you're, you're a student nurse, that, that you have to be very efficient with, yeah. with, your, with where you have to go and stuff. So therefore, you might want to be the type of person that is on point with everything. Yeah. So I've just, I've drawn something here. I'm just going to place it down like that. And I'm going to give you the pen and I would like you to, behind you on the whiteboard, draw the object that you were thinking of, okay, that you picked. So, so would that that so that what you were thinking of was yeah. a clock? Yeah, clock. So then it would have it would have numbers on and yeah. stuff. Uh, oh, okay. Well, you can. It's up to you. Like, no, it's fine. so originally your thought was a.
clock mm -hmm. telling the time. Yeah. And I drew something on a sheet of paper in front of you. Mm -hmm. And it happened to be a <laughs> clock. <laughs> but with some numbers on, but there we go. But that defi def definitely is, is that what you were thinking. Yeah. So you are literally 100% psychic. <laughs> and uh, I tell you something, it's funny that you were thinking of a clock, because speaking of time, can you just tell me the time? I even got the watch. Are you looking for something? Gosh, how do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. You might want to keep that on your wrist. Anyway, I'm off. <laughs> I don't know how it's done if we watch. So I, I thought I had it on me and just absolutely. Uh, I, I wouldn't guess how it's done, so I'm still, I'm still thinking about it now. But. Um, I didn't think I was psychic until Leon drew the same picture that I drew without each other knowing and that was really amazing. I was just amazed by how he's able to predict what I'm having and he's, he's doing it so quickly as well. He put the cards down first before the others do it because he absolutely knows that that's the card that we're going to pick. He knew what I was going to draw. I think Leon's definitely a psychic or something. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's the psychic. <laughs> Yeah.